Hello, this video describes the Lax Wendroff advection scheme, which can be formulated as a finite volume advection scheme. Lax Wendroff method is a introduces some upwinding to try to make the solution more realistic, but um, is still a second order method. So if we start off with the generic finite volume method in one dimension, got at, at position J, so this is now phi over the whole grid box j, rate of change of phi with time is equal to u, we're assuming that u is constant in space, multiplied by the change in phi over the grid box divided by delta x. So if we've got a, a grid box centred at, at xj here, uh, we've got uh, the, the edges of the grid box is going to be here at phi j plus a half and at phi j minus a half. So to define our finite volume method, we have to describe how phi at the edges of the grid box is calculated from phi at the centre of the grid boxes, or volume average phi. So we need to define phi at j plus a half. The lax wendroff method, this is defined to be the average value that passes through position x j plus a half between time steps n and n plus 1. So you could call this phi at j plus a half at time level n plus a half. So we need to calculate the average value of phi between positions x j plus a half here and a distance u delta t up upstream. So the average value of phi in this distance in this region. So the, if we we can assume that phi varies linearly between phi j and phi j plus one. So this average value is going to be phi at the midpoint here. So that's going to be um, phi at xj plus a half minus half u delta t. So we've got uh, xj plus a half, which is going to subtract half u delta t. So phi at, at this position here is going to give you um, phi at j plus a half, n plus a half. Um, and so for an exercise, I'd like you to try and work out, by linear interpolating these two onto this position here, what phi at j plus a half n plus a half should be. Um, you should use for this exercise you should use the current number u delta t over delta x and show that phi j plus a half n plus a half is um, given by this expression here based on the current number. I'm going to show now the solution um, but I'm not going to go through it. Um, so a couple of points to mention before I show the solution. lax wendroff is second order accurate in space and time, but it's it's a it's a linear scheme, and um, uh, it's second order, so it's not monotonic and it's not bounded. Um, it's stable for current numbers less than one. So now here is the solution for how to derive uh, lax wendroff scheme, which I'm not going to talk through. Here are some numerical results. Um, of advecting a square wave to the right um, with a uniform wind. This is the results of lax wendroff This is a similar scheme called warming and beam. Um, and some points to note is that lax wendroff is, ahead, is smooth ahead of the discontinuity, um, whereas warming and beam is smooth behind it. So we'll see that again when it starts up again. nearly going all the way around and they both smoothed out quite a lot so they're both damping schemes. You can hear, see here that lax wendroff is smooth ahead of the discontinuity but not behind it and wax, warming and beam is, has got oscillations ahead of the discontinuity but it's smooth behind. I'll get to the beginning again and we'll see that again. So now we can see quite clearly that lax wendroff is smooth ahead of the discontinuity and oscillations behind it, whereas warming and beam is the other way around. Oscillations ahead of the discontinuity, smooth behind it. In the next video, we'll see how to combine lax wendroff and warming and beam to create a monotonic advection scheme, a, a TVD advection scheme.